GS GS2 junction 2 of, of PH1 101 um, We're on question 5 Question 5 says a force of magnitude um, 6.00 newtons acts on an object at the origin in a direction theta equal to 30.0 degrees above the positive x-axis a second force f2 of magnitude 5.00 newtons acts on the object in the direction of the positive y-axis find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force that is f1 plus f2 so now um, i'm sure you've seen the diagram the one that's on the screen um for this one we can draw a free body diagram we can resolve the forces in the x and we can sum up the forces in the x and sum up the forces in the y but then remember um this is the sheet too this was just on vectors this was before you learned um the forces before you learned how to draw free body diagrams so this question um once um this question acts for us to have a vector approach rather than us approaching it as a force where we sum up the forces and things like that so now um we have the we have the force f2 which is going there f2 then we have another force this is the x-axis then there is 30 degrees then this force is f1 so this one is equal to 66 this one is equal to oh, this one is one that's equal to 6 then this one is equal to 5 so now what we can do is we can resolve the components um so i'm going to say x um let's say x y and this one is for the components so f1 then we're going to have f2 then we're going to add them to find our resultant so now um f1 f1 we have got this one so f1 in the x um if you've seen my previous videos this is just going to be so f1 in the x f1 in the x is going to be given by if you um try to analyze this one you're going to find that f1 in the x is going to be given by 6 um cosine 30 so f1 in f1 in the x is going to be equal to 6 cosine 30 which is 5 5.196 newtons and then um f1 in the y is going to be given by so this is 5.196 and then in the y it's going to be given by the cosine of 30 so 6 cosine the sine sorry the sine of 30 because we know that this y is actually opposite to the 30 degrees so now that's going to be 6 sine 30 must be 3 I think because sine 30 is actually half so 6 sine 30 is going to be equal to 3 then f2 f2 in the x there is nothing in the x for f2 so it's going to be zero f2 in the y is going to purely in the y so it's um five um so then we go on to adding them so when you add this one is going to give us eight and then this one's going to give us 5.196 so this is our r so then to find the so this is our R. So now we found R in the X and R in the Y. So now if you want to find the magnitude, magnitude of R is going to be equal to the force in the X squared plus the force in the Y squared. So R, because this is this is just the total forces in the X because we've added F1 in the X and F2 in the X. This, this, this is the total force in the Y because this is f1 in the y in the y direction and also we have got f2 in the y direction so we are going to have f2 in the x being equal to f being equal to 5.196 to the power 2 plus um fy it's going to be equal to 8 so that's the sum of forces in there in the y axis then you're having your r resultant to be um I'm going to use a calculator for this one 5.196 to the power 2 plus 8 to the power 2 then the square root of the answer is simply 
Mm. Arrow, the square root of the answer is going to be equal to 1.9. Um, we can say 1.94, 9.54 um, newtons. And then now we're also being told to find the angle, the angle, which is the direction, of course. So now, um, the direction is given by tan theta, the force in the y by the force in the x. I've been explaining several times how we've come up with this one. You can watch my previous videos. So tan theta is equal to when you take the inverse of both sides, tan inverse. Um, the force is in the y, that's 8. The force is in the x, that's 5.196. So then our theta is going to be equal to 8 divided by 5.196. Tan inverse of the answer is going to give us um, 56.996, which you can say theta is equal to. When you round off to this one this one will, be, will become 10 to influence this one to also become 10 so we just have a 57 degrees so you can say um the magnitude is 9.45 and the angle is um 57 degrees with respect to the x-axis so writing them together the error vector is going to be equal to 9.54 um 57 9.94 Newton's 57 degrees with respect to the x-axis.